2.74 seconds. That's how long SpaceX's ninth super heavy booster, dubbed Booster 9, was able to fire its engines during its first static fire test on August 6th, a bit less than the target of 5 seconds. It was just over three months ago when SpaceX launched the fully stacked Starship rocket on its test flight. Damage left behind from that launch prompted a number of changes at SpaceX's Starbase facility near Boca Chica Beach in Texas. Chief among those was the addition of a new sound suppression system. Crews completed a full pressure test of what it calls the Starship Flame Deflector back on July 28th. The system is designed to lessen the impact to the launch pad from the 33 Raptor engines on the bottom of the Super Heavy booster during the next flight test. In preparation for the static fire test, on Friday, August 4th, Booster 9's engines were chilled down to the temperatures needed for flight conditions. Teams also did a spin test of the Raptor's engine pumps. That's when fuel passes through the engine systems but is not ignited. Ahead of the ignition for the static fire test, SpaceX loaded Booster 9 with a full tank of liquid oxygen and just enough liquid methane to allow the test to run. According to a Federal Aviation Administration document published before the initial test launch, a fully loaded Super Heavy booster is expected to hold up to 3,700 metric tons of propellant. The static fires seem to be a good test for the Starship flame deflector, but not all went smoothly with the engines. We reached a test duration of 2.74 seconds with four engines shutting down prematurely. SpaceX has yet to state a reason behind the four engines cutting off early. SpaceX said they also expected the test to last around five seconds so it only made it through about half that time. In a post on X, formerly known as Twitter, SpaceX founder Elon Musk said he put the odds of reaching orbital velocity on the next test launch at right about a coin toss. Musk says reaching stage separation itself would be considered a win. For Space Flight Now, I'm Will Robinson-Smith.